Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen is excited to be in his presence this morning. You are glad that today is your day. You know that God is set to do wonders in your lives. Because I'm going to flow in the prophetic. I have a message that I've been given to preach. I will try and preach it if, if possible. But I'm going to flow in the prophetic, pray, you know, release God's blessings. Uh, then I'll share, you know, also from my life story, just to encourage someone here to let you know that it is possible. It is possible. It is possible. Money can never be your problem. Money can never be your problem. So we're going to go ahead in tongues. We're going to pray in tongues right now. Then we pray. All right. Then I'll just flow from there. Then if possible, I'll go into the message for today, which is personal effectiveness. As if time permits us, we're going to personal effectiveness. But I'm going to show you something about faith this morning. You know, by the grace of God, thank God for God's gym. I was with a brother, I think after the first service, someone was sharing with me outside that. He blessed God for God's chamber that he came here as a nobody and today that you look at who he is. So he was sharing with me that he recently got promoted in his office. He recently got promoted. The brother sits somewhere here. He couldn't wait for the third service. He said he recently got promoted. And this was someone that when he came here, he was literally nobody. No job, nothing. And that was the same thing to when I came into God's chamber. I came into God's chamber no, as a nobody. No job, nothing. No clothes. I just want clothes. But today, I remember yesterday, they came to move things from out this morning, and several clothes that I was just giving out that I don't need. Several. I, I don't need it. You know, that I was just giving out from someone that had no clothes. And it's barely nine, nine years. Nine years going to ten years now. So means it takes just ten years to change a man's life. Ten years. To turn a man's life around completely. It takes just ten years. Ten years. Meaning that so you can start looking at your life from now, which I will show us from scriptures, and we we'll also pray that your turn around must start taking effect. Your turn around must start taking effect. Bible says, for without faith, it is impossible to please God. Hebrew eleven says, "Is it for whosoever cometh to God must believe that what that He is, and is a rewarder of them that what diligently seek Him." So God rewards people. God rewards people. Bible says, "Is the same what yesterday is the same what today." And forever. So, whatever he has done in time past, whatever you have heard, the same way I have my testimony and several other people that have gone before me, or other people that you might have heard their testimony, the same God that made it happen for them can make it happen for you. Because the same God yesterday, the same God what today and forever one. So, you are next in line for that outstanding miracle. I say you are next in line for that supernatural turn around. Let's just go ahead in tongues and just pray, worship God and praise him this morning because he's here. He's here. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Come Just open yourself up to God this morning. We've been told to open up our mind. There will be a mental shift right now. There's going to be a mental shift right now because God has done all that we need. God has given us all that we need. All we needed is just a mental shift. A mental shift. That's all we need. And we start enjoying our inheritance. Ragaba shandala ba soko prali gede gede ya lam braka tali galaga ba zuki tele gede gede ya. You can help me open to Second Peter, Second Peter one three to four, Second Peter one three to four. Just keep praying, keep praying. While we have that scripture on the screen, zeka pala balaga ba. If there is anything you want God to do in your life that is looking impossible. I'd like you to just bring it up before God right now. Bring it up before God. Put it in your mind right now. Put it in your imagination. I begin to look at that thing. Begin to see that turn around in that situation, that turn around in that circumstance, that healing, that job is coming your way, that business expansion is coming your way. That promotion, your life will never remain the same. You are no longer stranded. You are moving forward. You are advancing. You are making progress. Nobody can stop you. You are unstoppable. You are more than what you think 
you are, you are more than this because you are the head and not the tail. You are the first and not the last. You are above and above only. Your God owns a thousand castles upon the hills. He is a God that has much more than enough. He is a God of all flesh. He says, is there anything too hard for me to do? He said, I will make a way in your wilderness and I will cause water to flow in your desert. Behold, I do a new thing. Call for those new things. God is doing something new in your life. God is doing something in your life. There's a visitation this morning. There's a visitation this morning. There's a touch from heaven. God touched me from heaven. Touch me this morning. Touch my home this morning. Touch my business this morning. Touch my finance this morning. Touch my family this morning. Touch my father that I seek this morning. My father receives strength and he gets out of that sick bed. I speak to that father this morning. He receives healing right now in the name of Jesus. Jesus, we call for your healing. Rise up out of that sick bed in the lava shata la bakato. Man break a telegado so kafalia. Radava shata la bakata. Ma kafala gaba. Rekata la gaba. Baroto so kafalia. Unto him shall the gathering of the people be. Oh, we are gathered together this morning unto the most high God. We are not gathered together unto human being. We are gathered unto the most high God. The God, the Father, is here. The God of Son is here. God, the Holy Spirit is here. We are going to have an encounter with divinity. And no one will remain the same. 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 Father, we thank you. We give you praise. We give you glory. We give you all the honor. We give you adoration. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. A word I have for one wise man says that on a spiritual level, that the world should envy us. We should have innovations and wealth on a level that the world would want to serve our God. Look at this scripture. It says what? According as his divine power has given unto us all things that, what? that pertain unto life and godliness. Through the knowledge. So we have been given all things. All. All. So you have been given all things. Let that sink in. You have been given all. If it is money, you have been given the money. And I will show you if, if I can how to get that money. You have been given all things that pertain unto life and godliness. He says, what through what? Through the knowledge of him that has called you to glory and virtue, whereby are given unto us what? Exceeding grace and precious promises. That by this he might well be partakers of what? The divine nature, having escaped the corruption that is in the world through lust. Okay, we want to for grace. So you have all things. And I also was made to understand that that when you operate in faith, time can no longer be a constraint. When you operate in faith. Because our faith creates time. God does not exist in time. Alright? It says a thousand years. It's like what? It's like a day. So if a thousand years is like a day before God. So in that case, who tell you or who told you that it will take five years to get that thing done? Because you can't live for a thousand years. It's not possible. But a thousand years like what? It's like a day before God. And I'm sure you don't need up to a day to make that thing happen. Because God is seeing a day as a thousand years. So it means your miracles will happen now. That's what it simply means. No one says now you put it It's a now faith. Now faith. So what is that thing that you need? Because a lot of us we are confused by saying, I am waiting on God. And God is saying, I am waiting on you. I am waiting for you. So what is that miracle? What is that thing that you desire from God that you want him to do? And you are trying to time God. You are trying to think, okay, I can't achieve this until five years' time. I can't get to this until ten years' time. I can't get to it until twenty years' time. God is saying in the same way that what Elisha prophesied. He said, by this time tomorrow, by this time tomorrow, by this time tomorrow, God does not need 24 hours to turn your life around. So I'm going to look up to God right now. If it is money that you need, the money is getting to your hand right now. I said the money is getting to your hand right now. Your bank accounts will be credited this week in the name of Jesus. It says for calling those things that be not as what? As though they were. So I'm going to go before God right now. If it is promotion, if it is increase, if it is change of status, if it is a relocation that you want to do, you're going to call for those things right now. Go ahead and call for those things right now. He said, for it shall decree a thing and it shall be established. For it shall decree a thing and it shall be established. So go ahead and call forth your testimonies. Call forth your miracles. Nothing can stop them. Nothing can hold them down. Nothing can delay them. Nothing can stop you. And back it up with God's word. Call them forth. Call them forth. Shatala bakata. He's coming forth. Call them forth. Call them forth. Call it for this morning. Call it for this morning now. Call it for this morning now. Nothing can stop you. The power is in your mouth. 
He says, the power is in your mouth. The word is near us and in our mouth. So speak it this morning. 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 Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Like I said, if we have time to preach, we preach. But I just want you to get this. Because this is what I'm sent to do. I was trying to send my car. And I said, it's when we send those prayer group on those Wednesday. It's what we have experienced. We are sending it. And that's what I want to thank God for. Every time I maybe pray about something, it becomes a reality in my own life. I experience it. That's what I always take in my whole heart. So it's what we have experienced. And that's what I say, what we have, our eyes have seen, our ears have heard, and our hands have handled. That's what we share. So I share the picture with all people, people that are into car selling and all of that, sales, you know. So I sell, so send the pictures to them, told them, I want to sell my car. And I told them the price is one million, I want to sell it. Ah, some say, oh, you can't sell that car. If it's below one million, you get buyer to leave that, 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 and all of that. Then one day I was just driving to the office. I got to Osborne. Then somebody said to me, that, speak to it. Why can't you speak to it? Speak to this car. Oh, okay. In the minute, I just hit the steering. I said, car, go today in Jesus' name. You are sold in Jesus' name. That was in the morning when I was going. In the evening, I closed work and I was coming back. And my, for some reason, you know, I just perceived my spirit that you don't drive through the lucky, you know, inside lucky, uh, Admiralty Road Street, that you go through the back because there could be traffic on that straight road. So I went through the back where you not got bust out for those that don't like station very well, that Diamond Bank. You just come out from the Diamond Bank. And it was on that Diamond Bank that my former office, that's of Tara was. So as I was driving past the office, somebody said, I saw the security, I asked the guy, oh, are you guys still in the office? It was 6.30. Ah, they said, yes, they're having presentation, da, 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 da. I said, okay, so I asked for the PA to Tara. They said, she's around us. I said, okay, let me park and just say hello to her. I parked the car, got down. The nurse started to be in the office. So I went, I greeted her. She was happy, hugged me, da, da, da. So I got, I was about to leave around 7 p.m. So I got to leave the open office where they have all the staff. I just lifted up my hand like this. I said, I want to sell my car, you know, like that. And the lady just said, are you serious? I said, yes. She said, okay, I said, let us go downstairs and test, test the car. Next thing, the driver came and a few other people like that. They all rushed downstairs, da, da, da. And so I gave the lady the key. I said, you see, she wants the owner to buy it. Just drive it yourself. She drove around the street. She said, I'm buying this car. She just said, how much is that? I didn't even bother negotiate. I said, one millionaire. She said, I bought this, your car. That I'm going to sell my own car. My car is doing me. I'll sell it by car 45 by tomorrow. Add money to that one, and I'll pay your account. That same day, the car was sold. At the same rate, one million. Speak to it. You don't, you don't have forever to live. You don't have forever to live. See, the word is near thee. And even in your mouth, he said, the word of faith. So you can call whatever you need. That child will call forth now. Nothing can stop it. I said, no, there's no devil. There's no force. Because I, whatever faith says is what time obeys. So you have to give time what to do. You have to dictate to time when to produce for you. You have to, you know, structure your life. You have to determine the speed of your life. That's why I tell you that I say you can create your destiny, you can create your future. You don't need anybody or anything, any human, anybody. You can create your reality. Dr. Buisi said, he said, if you have the kingdom in you, you create your reality. You create what you experience by time. You can choose to be above and beyond. Above and beyond poverty. You can't lack. You can't lack. Not possible. The car was sold the same day. So why not speak to it? I was having struggling and going over there and they can't sell it. And believe what they are saying, I can't sell it less than one million. Says who? I said, it's all that to sell my car. You are saying I can't sell it less than one million. Says who? The person of her will come. And she bought it two weeks ago. And I'm still using the car till I'm, I'm ready to go. I'll come and give her. I said, no problem. Don't worry. Just go. You just paid me my cash. Full. Full payment. We sold everything in our apartment to the point that my wife was looking, looking for what to sell. To tell you the speed at which people were just buying everything. We sold everything. I mean, literally everything. To cut in. To cut in. I was going to say, people now. No, you will sell it. She was not looking for what to sell in the house. That is why. Because why? You are calling those things that be not. As though they were. You're not going to pray again. You need to call those things forth. And refuse to be stranded. Maybe let me share now for you. I told God every coming that I'm living. As I heard from scriptures. I, I, I run of scriptures. When he's, he talk about the children of you know, Israel, when they move out of Egypt, he said that they did not go out empty. So I told God from about four years ago that every job that I'm leaving, I will not leave empty. Once I give you notice of one month and all of that, I will not leave this company empty. 
And so about four jobs back, when I got that revelation, I was about living that conflict, gave them a resignation letter. Now, and well, that year that was my wedding, so for those of you who have a wedding, money will never be a problem. Like, Mr. I always say that. No wedding has been cancelled because of money. I've never heard it. No wedding. So, wedding was going to come. I didn't have the money. We had to struggle to get the apartment then. And the moment I was about to leave, there's this house we rented for our company. I was at the president, child of the facility. We got it in less than 31. I was working here then. And just about when I was going to leave, the company said, you know what? Lease it out. This house is not profitable to us. So, we want you to lease it out. So, I became an agent overnight. And I about eight flats in that building. So, I told them, I contacted the agent. So, you know, there's agent fee and legal fee. So, I said, whichever one, if it is legal, you want to put me, I don't care. Or agent. I just want to say, 10% is my own. It's 10 percent. So if it's agency, you want to call it fine. Or if it is legal, you want to call it your problem. Just that 10 percent is my own. I know those fleshy houses now, 1.5 million in each flat. The pastor was trying renting that house. The house. Those agents brought people, and I said, collecting 10 10 percent. When you were successful, of course. And I was leaving the company after a month. So I just rented the whole apartment. The company was excited that they were able to recoup their money back because we rented that for 10 point something million. So when we now rented 1.5, we even rented about 50 million. So I'm not going to take 10 percent like that. I had enough money for wedding. And so I can continue the last job even before this one. Then when I was going to leave as well, even was the company that I didn't like, and I was terrible, even the boss, we almost had picture and things like that. But when I was going to leave, and I told them I just gave birth and all of that, as she's in the US, all of a sudden, God just said, you know what? We'll see what we can do for you. And he sent me $1,000. After they paid my salary, he sent me $1,000. Just for the day, because he was thinking I would come back to Nigeria and come back to the company, but I said bye bye. What I said bye bye is bye bye. Then you know why? Because why? Anywhere they leave, they don't leave empty. And I did what I pastor shared with me. They don't leave empty. My boss was almost crying and all of that. He just said, "Well, I want you to move forward, and I'll pray for you and all of that." After praise and life, they did step forward for me. What massive step forward and all of that. Everybody was enjoying celebration. Next, he just credited my account. You know, another one month salary again. And on top of that, I said, you know what, just drop the contract six months for us, so I'll be working with us from back there, I'll be paying you every month. That can only be what the God. So that's how to call on that same God, the same God over all. That's like the money will never be your problem. It will never. Never. So I'm going to pray. Then I'll ask I'll pray. I'm going to pray. For those of you that think you have a challenge of money, money is not a problem to them. It's not a problem. It's because you are thinking money is a problem. That's why you are paying that the problem to you. Money is never, money is paper. It's just a means of exchange. That's what money is all about. When you have value, all right, money will come your way. So when you are standing, I say money come to me now in Jesus' name. It will come. That's what me I do. Let's come and just call you. I just say like, give me an account, 50,000 and credit. I was like that. I was standing. I just say, God, money coming to me now. I just say three times. The normal time does not matter. <laughs> if you have said, God, that's how I say three times. But me, I just say three times. I said, money coming to me now in Jesus' name. Next one just called me. She sent me an account number. I just like, let me do something. At last, people going to 2,000 naira. That's what God can do. We are going to pray. That, Lord, I receive wisdom. I receive revelation. I receive knowledge. All right? I receive mental transformation that will make me take my place in God and also take my place in my inheritance. That I will not live short of my inheritance. I will not live short of all that belongs to me. You are living below your means. You are living below what God has made available to you. You are living below it. You want much more than this. You want much more than this. Call those things forth. Call the money forth. Call the money forth. Call the businesses forth. Call the businesses forth. Call the greatness forth. Call everything you need forth. Call them forth. Call them forth. The power is in you. The authority is in you. Speak it. Speak to those things that will move. He said, if you have faith as a seed, as a mustard seed, you shall say to this mountain, be cast yonder and it will obey you. He said, for with God, nothing. He said, for with man, it is impossible. But with God, nothing. Nothing shall be impossible. Nothing shall be impossible with God. Nothing shall be impossible with God. Nothing shall be impossible with God. First Corinthians 2, 9 to 12. First Corinthians 2. 9 to 12, then we'll pray that and we'll sit down. In Jesus' name we pray. Can we take this together? On to go. But as it is written, I have not seen, nor hear heard, neither have entered into the heart of man, the thing which God has well prepared for them that love him. But God has revealed them unto us 
by spirit. For the spirit searched all things, yea, the deep things of God. For what man knoweth the things of a man, save the spirit of a man which is in him. Even so the things of God knoweth no man, but the spirit of God in him. Now we have, not the spirit of the world, but the spirit which is of God, that we might know the things that was freely given to us of God. Hallelujah. Some things are freely given to you. You may have a seat. Just say that to your neighbor. Some things have been freely given to you. Some things have been freely given to you. The Bible says all things are yours. All. All things are yours. So walk with that mentality. Walk with that mentality. It's a change. It takes living from within to dominate. You live from within. And that's why you always learn to hear God. That's your greatest asset. Learn to hear God. Learn to hear God. God will give some specific instructions. All this happens by instructions. Specific instructions. You just need specific instructions. All right? Specific instructions. Specific instructions. So learn to hear from God. That is your greatest asset. All right? My wife that I married to today was by hearing from God. Go and sit outside. And I was hugging myself. Why would I go and sit outside when even the auditorium is not filled up? I was on the second row, a concert. And that spirit came, go and sit outside. Because we, we are planned for overflow. And I was arguing. Why would I go and so when I was arguing, I said, why would I say, why would I go and sit outside? When I'm on the second row, the place is not filled up. Is like, go and sit outside. Uh-uh. When the auditorium is not filled up. He said, go and sit outside. And I said, okay, I'll go and sit outside. I was talking to myself. I why was was going on? And I went outside and sat on the one of the overflow chair. Little did I know. The first time my wife just walked in. And I greeted her. We, ah, you are it. Okay, I know it's from you. Are it. And we just greeted her. Hello. And hugged her. I just go and say, that's your wife. And that's it. Ability to hear God. Very important. So if you have not been hearing God, you need to go and learn that. Ability to hear God. Like this one, when the trip thing, you know, was ready. I just said, sow a seed. Sow a seed for your harvest. Because I looked at, look how good to manage all this fund, all these expenses and things like that. So he says, okay, seed. Okay, like how much should I sow? So he gave me the amounts. Who tries? Okay, he gave me the person. Someone that was planning to do a project or something too that needed, what is my own seed that is his own harvest? You understand? That is his own harvest here in God's chamber. He said, sow a seed to that person. He was trying to live his own dream. And he didn't have the resources. So I said, send me your account number. I just got my salary then and I was trying to apply. I didn't, I didn't bother telling my wife because I knew if I should tell her, I should say no because you're trying to put money together, you know, to raise funds for your own whatever trip. And now he's saying, sow a seed to someone else. You know, then I send the money to the person. I've ever let loose, straight. Ever let loose. Few days after, money started flowing in. Money started flowing in. <laughs> someone just woke up to say, they say I should give you this money, 40,000 naira. After that, an, an alert gave me 20,000 naira. That is by hearing God. Hearing God, that's not the message for today. So you need to learn to hear God, okay? Because God's way is higher than our ways and his thoughts higher than our thoughts, okay? So God just know that God is a faithful God. He's a faithful God. You just know that, settle that in your mind. There's no impossibility in God, all right? Look at that situation and tell that story that today will mark your end. We always tell people, will be determined in your heart to see your change. All right? When you refuse to see yourself in a certain space or sphere of influence, you will move. You will move forward. All right? Ability to hear God. I left my uh, job then. Before this one, it was had some tough time on the job and all of that. I put in my best into the job. I always take my job with all my heart. I put in my best. And I now realize that the company that lack competence. With due respect to them. They lack competence. They don't know how to manage people. Which is why for employers, it's always good that sometimes for employers to have work in organizations. If you see employers that have worked in, especially in corporate organizations, they manage people well than those that have not worked before, that have no experience. So for those of you that have tried to start business, go and work first. Go and be an employee before you own your own business. Because then you will learn how to run business and to manage people. Especially when you see highly skilled people, you know how to manage them. Because we are not ready to joke with our lives. It costs me a lot to get to where I am right now. So I will not let you mess it up for me. Because I know my last bus stop. So I, won't, I know where I'm going clearly. So I won't allow anybody to mess it up for me. And I was ready to achieve what I want to achieve. So if your company can't pay my what I move, like I tell people, if you're in a place two years, three years, they don't promote you and increase your salary, leave that place. If you work in the company for two years, they don't increase your salary. Even if it's in Goshiba, leave that place. If you work in Goshiba, they don't increase your salary for two years, leave that place. They can't pay your work. No, it means you work much more than that. So let people that is in that category, let them come and fill that position. 
You worth much more than that. You don't let anybody stop your destiny. That's how I tell you. Your destiny is in your hands. You determine and decide what you become. No devil, no force. You determine and decide what you become in life. And that's the whole lesson of all this teaching and everything. That's I don't joke with greatness. I don't joke with greatness. I know my future is bad. I don't know what to tell me. I know my, you can only come to confirm what God has told me. I know my future is bright and I know it's settled. It's bright. That's why I've been saying it. People will start paying me for talking. They will start paying me just to talk. They'll just come and talk for five minutes and they'll pay several thousands of dollars just to come and talk for five minutes. Because why? It's the future that I've seen and I'm confessing and I want to start doing the same thing. So refuse to be in a particular place. You know, and after I'm going to go to my same possible. I left that company. I said to resign like today's night after I've tried everything, done my best. I just told the CEO, I sent him a message. I said, I think my time is up here and I can't continue again. He said, okay. Okay. He might say, okay, I was very happy. He won't be angry. I just sent him my resignation letter. Of course, I was the head of HR then, so I copied the HR email and then copied him, sent to the HR email and copied him. And that was a Monday evening. I didn't bother telling tell my wife because she was heavy then and she was almost due. So I didn't want complications for her. And she was in the U.S. then. I didn't want complications for her. And here I was. I was like, okay, the bill was supposed to be, you know, the U.S. was supposed to be and all of that. Now, no job. How do you do it? And things like that. But God will never give you a miracle that cannot sustain. If he has given the pregnancy, he can sustain it. You see, my story alone is enough for this message up to today. I just want to use that to stir you up. All right? If I can touch personal effectiveness, I'll touch personal effectiveness. If not, other ministers are coming to the court of the most to touch it. Today's my last day here, by God's grace. So, <laughs> let me just flow. Please, sorry. Am I being pastor, please? <laughs> let me just flow. Because I just want to learn, because you see the living story. And it's because sometimes we read the Bible, we think they are angels. We think those people there are strangers. We forgot that they were living the same way we are living right now. They were human beings too, like us, those Peter Paul. So, now you can see flesh and blood that has gone through some things that you can then relate to. I can relate to. So I left that place that Monday night, sent the email and all of that. The next day, Tuesday morning, because I give them one month notice, but I always do the problem, I'll, give, I'll give you a notice and all of that, one month notice. I was going the next morning, to the, I got to the bus stop, and a phone call came in. A company that I had applied to a year ago, a year ago, that I've been forgotten. I didn't remind anything. They just called me, a vacancy is opened, we don't know if you'll be interested, and all of that. So I said, okay, what's the years of experience? He said, that I looked for two to four years. I said, I have 12 experience, 12 years. So I don't think it's me you wanted. The guy hung up. In the evening, the guy called again. Have you applied? I said, you asked for two to four years experience. I have 12 years experience. Because once the employer is saying they want, have a look for a certain experience, I mean, that's the money they want to pay. So I said, it means you can't pay me. 12 years and four years is not the same thing. The guy said, I apply now. It's the employer that will decide. Ah, I, I ignored him. You know what I did? There was some people that met me in GC that are looking for a job. So I just forwarded the vacancy to them. That you, you guys, you have two years to four years. Eh? So I applied for this job. So I forwarded this one. I forwarded it to them. The next month, he called me again. Have you applied to that job? He said, please just submit your CV. Ah, yeah, okay. And a lot of times I just send the CV. Cut long story short, that's the company that I'm living right now. Nothing can stop you. Just know that. Nothing. Because when men are taking off their carpet, like they say, God is about to what? Roll his own rug. <laughs> you know, we call it rug, but they call it carpet in interior design. You know, they call it the carpet, you know. So when they are taking off their own carpet off the other plastic thing, God is about giving you what? Rug. That, don't worry. They, they, are, they are not your creator. They don't create you. So they can't control your destiny. They can't hold you captive. They don't create you. So you must what? Dream big. Dream big. Have big visions. Big dreams. Aspire high. Be ready to dare things at a young age. We are all above our achievement. Let me be honest with you. Even myself, I'm beating myself sometimes. That you should be above what you are doing right now. Because people that are not up to us are making wave all over the world. They are making impact and exploits. So be tired of sitting down here and we are just talking to you and you are not making any impact whatsoever. You are not affecting 10 people. You are not affecting 100 people. You are not affecting 1,000 people. Yet you are, you are just asking for money every day. You are begging for money. Looking for who you can take advantage. How long will you continue in that? How long? How long will you continue in that? You are what you want much more than what you are right now. You have what it takes in every being when God created them all that they need to become who they are. You have been packaged in them. So it's in you. Locate what you have. And it's what you have that you get it to where you are going. 
It is what you have. All you have to do is to develop it, which is a training and a mentorship to have been taught. Like today's service, the change of attitude, change of your habits and things like that. Your mentality, being right. Have a different mentality. Have a mentality that it cannot be turned down in any interview. I always tell myself that if I go, the only reason why they will know is that we did not agree on salary. No interview can turn me down. Why? I will take over the entire forces of, of the office before I get there. So once I get to the office, I say, where's your restroom? That's the first thing. When I go for an interview, I say, where's your restroom? Then I go into the restroom and I say, every place the soul of my feet tread upon, that God has given unto me. I don't know if you require to be confused, you'll be confused to employ me. Because when I get on that job, I know I will perform. Because my wife was saying in the morning that the Holy Spirit plus experience. Now fire. The Holy Spirit plus experience. So you'll be confused, you'll be clouded, even though there are other qualified people than me, are more competent than me, but because I've taken the hold of the atmosphere already, you have no choice. You say, hey, this guy, is him we love, is him we want. And you bring me on the job. I say, can, I, can you do this? I say, I can do it. Then I'll go back once I see the challenge. I say, God, behold, all things be, before you lay bare. Calabasha. And, and he opened my eyes. I remember when I joined C2G, I, 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 I had no SAP experience. C2G is a SAP Gold Partner, they're into SAP. What the people they hire are people with SAP certification. But I apply for the job. Which one, once I say vacancy, I don't care your requirements. What I'll do, I'll go and take my CV and restructure it based on your requirements and submit it. That's why I have several CVs. I will not tag that CV based on your requirements. I don't make mistakes. I don't mix it up when they say come with your CV. You know, some people will say come with your CV. So as I'm applying to you, I'm putting your name by the side of the CV as I'm saving it. So I say come with your CV. I go and look for it. I print the right one. I make sure I'm going there with the right one. I will look at the job requirements and I'll structure my CV based on the job requirements and I'll send it to you. Then they will think it out. I only just give me an opportunity to come. To just come and talk with you. Just give me an opportunity to appear. Just give me an opportunity. As long as I get there, I go to the session, please. Can I see use, use your restroom? He said, Yes, I say we smiling. No worry. I just go there. Every place, the soul of my fish are tread upon. That God has given unto me. I take over this office today. I rule here today. I'm in charge in this place today. Whatever I say is what they will accept. Every to be yes, yes, yes in their ears. Every to be correct, correct, correct in their ears. Even though it's rubbish that I'm saying. <laughs> because why? If God can magnify the feet of those lepers, they were lepers. They were incapacitated men. People. No capacity in them, no ability in them. But God magnified their feet and they heard the sound. And soldiers with weapons, with the best horses, chariots. They took to their heels. They all ran away. That same God is still alive. That is why no embassy can turn you down. They've not born or created that embassy. Let them make any law. Any law in any country. Let them make it. Apply there. They, they've not, you take hold of their atmosphere. You are a principality. A principality. It says what? For we are seated in him who is far and above principality and power. So what are you? You are a super, super, super principality. You enter to a terrain... You are, I'm a principality in this place. There's no death, no force that can come and dominate here. That's how we know we are going on assignment. We are taking Atlanta by storm. There will know a new kind and a new breed of people have, applied, have arrived here. Not the kind they've experienced before. Not the kind they've known before. You will hear the news, don't worry. Not the kind they've known before. Because a new old saviors. We are taking over the world. We are taking over. Saviors shall rise from Mount Zion. We are not to take over again. again. Enough of sitting down in Okera. It is time to spread abroad. Tell your neighbor, take charge. Take charge. Take charge of every sphere of influence. Your sphere of influence, you have to dominate. You have to rule and reign over that sphere of influence. The power, the authority, the ability has been given to you. The embodiment of God is in you. God, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit is in you. He said, greater is in you. Is, is he that is in you. Who is he? Who is he? God. It's God we're talking about here. It's not my, it's not president. It's not, oh, he's not president. Uh, which president is there now? You know, I don't know him because I can't see performance. I'm sorry. Yeah, that's why we're all going away. We can't see performance. Nonsense. We just voted him out of no choice. Let him hear anywhere. We voted him because we have, in the midst of the bad, he's the best. Uh, the bad. I've already said it. He's the best bad. They are all bad, but he's the best. He's the best bad. <laughs> Like that. It's the best bad. So you have to just choose one. You have to choose one. They are not delivering anything. Anything. Look at unemployment everywhere. 
my two bedroom flat, they have given me 33,000 electricity bill every month. I get fancy for my house. I got a big bread. 33,000, two bedroom flat, every month, never be. And you can't question what the pre that are nonsense bill. You can't change anything, you must pay it. They, they are worse than police. PSN, if you are working, you better go and leave that place. Otherwise, it's cost that you are reaping. You will never prosper. Yes. Because you are, it's sweat. It's what you didn't pay for that you are eating. You can't prosper. I'm saying anywhere, PSN, tell them. They can't prosper. That's why you see that they keep having problems. They are saying they don't have enough to generate. They don't have enough to this. Why would they have enough when you are reaping the people of their hard earned money? My tasks are paid over 75,000 tasks every month. Tasks that they did not pay every month. And I'm not seeing the impact. They did not mind. I'm sure not much my wife is paying the tasks every month. Look at the roads. The roads are bad. I still spend my money fixing the car. I recently spent 80,000 to change. We balance and four joints absorb of the car. 80,000. And I'm paying 75,000 every month to the, to the government. And they collect vats like tomorrow. I tell my boss, I said, don't be crazy about paying pay, pay all this nonsense bill. Because my boss likes to be on point. We pay VATS, if it's, we pay millions in VATS every month. A business that is just about three years old. That's the last story, you see? The business where I work in is about three years old. There are dimensions, sir. <laughs> you have not seen where at all. The car is about three years old. Ah, mentality, yato. Ah, mentality. The man will tell me that we work with corporates. We deal with corporates. From the first I got them, we deal with corporates. And the first year of existence, over 60 million in turnover. This year alone, over 150 million. And we are not much in the office. We are not much. I should tell you, surprise. <laughs> Number of people we have in Lagos. <laughs> we are not much in the office that is making all these things happen. And what do we do? We are a financial, we are a financial and capital market advisory firm. We have come now to go from limited liability to PLC. Or if you're already PLC, if you want to do IPO, we help you manage the process from your pre-IPO, the IPO, and the post-IPO. So what we look at is that we identify a problem. And we try to help you solve the problem. You are the one that sits on this problem. Who just can't say you and tell you what to do? It's still the same you. We assess your management style and everything. We pull out the errors and issues and like that. Say this is what is not working. This is what you should do. This is what you should do. You are still the same one that will implement and do it. I will charge you. Cool for four million every month. Retainer. We ride on retainership. And they pay our retainers in three months quarter. So we pay like 12 million. And you know, and we have over four, seven clients already. Interswitch, USC, Notorious Industry, um, great big, all these different companies. You know, if I mention they will be surprised, great big companies. Very few, and barely three years old. Barely three years old. So when I look at what we are paying in VAT, I, I look at this was too much. They were paying to the government. We're going to be compliant. And I told my company, I go to for the best. When I go there, I told them it's Deloitte that we're using. For all our task assessments, it's Deloitte I recommend there. Because I want to learn from the best. So they're doing the auditor, they're all our accounts. They do all our stuff and things like that. When I go, I change a whole lot of things. Because I understood excellence. Excellence is costly, but it will save you a lot of headache. It will save you a lot of headache. So all those young companies, those of you that are starting young companies, you need to go and relearn. I look at most of you. That's, I'm sorry, I don't want to patronize some people. It's my wife out of sentiment. She patronizes some of you. I look at it, so it's nonsense that like some of you are doing it. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm going to tell you the real truth because I, it's today's my last day, so I'm not going to see me again. <laughs> so I'm going to go very best. All those of you that are running normal business, all those employees, about the, how do you call them? Normal business, what do you call them? Some proprietorship, eh? Some employee. And are they play? Oh, I'm not serious. Some employees are way, way better than them. Why? Some just felt because they have the skill or because they've heard that this is what is happening or raining and they go into it. They've not gone to learn what it takes to deliver quality service. They've not learned it. And you're not be coming to beg me. They'll be pastor of people personalize me now. And if I don't personalize, start beefing me, start getting angry. When I say it's nonsense you are selling. With due respect to you, it's nonsense you are selling. Yes, it's nonsense. I've checked most of the I'm sorry to say, but I've checked most of the young startup here. It's nonsense. It's nonsense. There's no quality in your services. No quality, so hear it now. I'm going to change your ways. No quality, nothing. You understand? Nothing. You got them like, so I prefer to go and get it outside. That's even more expensive. I know you pay with the some of them. They pretend that this thing is cheapo. Me like they are cheating you. Let's say that thing costs 7,000 7, outside. They will give you a 10,000 now. They say, because it's you. 
go outside and price that thing. It's even cheaper than their own. That is even full of rubbish. So I look for my things outside. You cannot want their dig. At least, must you say to people in the church? When you are starting your business, are you starting your business because of people in the church? So take your business outside. Your market's outside, not in the church. You see everybody, they are patronizing everybody. They are selling. You want to sell. How many people do you want to sell to here? Ah. Uh-uh. I want to mess up the first time. The person will not come to you. He just be using time. I never need that. Now lie. He no enjoy your service. He no enjoy it you deliver. If you enjoy him, now he go to run after you. So you need to go and refine your business process. Create a model for your business. I tell you, what is, you have a business. What is the model of this your business? What is your business model? Let people teach you. They will tell you come to GC school boot camp. You won't come. Pay two thousand for GC boot camp. You will be sitting on WhatsApp from morning to night. Personal effectiveness. What side is not bringing money to your pocket? This I told my, I deleted myself on Telegram. We do respect to God. I removed myself from Telegram because people will not come and kill me. Data in the cost. Telegram, WhatsApp, all kinds of WhatsApp here and there. You know, it's too much. I removed myself from Telegram. I don't want to be part of it because I told myself that someone will say, I won't waste my time watching people excel. I'll go and invest in, on myself. I'll let people start watching me to, to excel. So if your WhatsApp is not your business platform, you need to drop the time that I spend on WhatsApp. Some of you will stay on WhatsApp till you are going to bed. You are still holding the phone like this. And you are dozing on you are still holding the phone. And as you wake up, the first thing you do is the phone and the WhatsApp. The now between this competition. Pastor will post a prayer, maybe 12 a.m. quickly answer 12 uh, 2 a.m. He just woke up, oh, he pee the phone by his side. He be see, you're not awake, we know you are sleeping. But because your WhatsApp is always with you. Once you are going to bed, let your if you have if you live in uh, room or whatever, let your what, phone be in the other room. Once I'm going to bed, I off my phone. Once I wake up the next morning, I make up my mind. It's not what's at first. It's not the news first because those will give you negative news. All the sell around is negative in Nigeria. So I've chosen for some time. I've not watched channels for some time. Even saying I have to stop it for some time. So what I do first is I open the scriptures. When I realized I have busy schedule that I couldn't be studying Bible the way I do before, what I did, I went with audio Bible. So with audio Bible, you cover three chapters. When I, my wife to have started that now, you cover two, three books of the Bible. So there's only traffic now from my house to Lekki now every morning, two hours. So I just plug the audio Bible. So it's the audio Bible I'm listening to. I'm listening to Genesis 1, Genesis 2, Genesis 3, Genesis 4, Genesis 5. So if I get to that, I'm listening to Genesis 45, 1 to 45. Once you do that, hit me, I hold on to that. And I start declaring that. I start declaring that to my day. I start declaring that. Is that time I go to the office? I know what is in the news. I just scroll. So let me be aware so that I'm not ignorant. I just scroll in the news. Okay. It's Buari. Okay, they're tying road now. Check uh, um, um, check some Olu on WhatsApp um, on Twitter. I'm, I'm following him. The guy is trying. That guy will make it part. I'll just scroll again. Okay, okay. Check this one, check me. Go to Gossima page. Like those I can like. Check Facebook. After that, I shut it down, put it in my locker, face my work, and face my personal life. They are not paying my bills. WhatsApp is not paying my bills. Rather, is your data. Because the more you download all, the, all those videos, everything, your data is exhausted. It's exhausted. So you must limit the time you spend on WhatsApp. It's draining destiny. It's draining your pocket. He said, I've got to realize that there's nobody that God is not blessing. He said, the way people manage their money is different. That's why be careful when people come to you for money. Give money to people when, when you are led by God to give to them. Because some people, God blesses them, but they squander their money anyhow. They misuse it, their business, they don't have to come in. And so I'm broke. It's like God has blessed them too. There's nobody here. I've noticed that. Guy, I'll help you. There's nobody God is not blessing. But some just don't have to manage their own resources than the other. They don't have to deploy their resources than the other. And that's what personal effectiveness is all about. So I know, you're not a waster of money. You're not a waster of funds. You're not a waster of time. You value your time. Time is highly resourceful. They say time is money. They also say time is money. They don't know. They're not joking. They know what they're saying. Time is money. Don't joke with your time. I, if I go to barber shop, my phone is, is plugged to my ears. As the guy is barber, it won't disturb. The guy will be pulling. Your guy, it's not disturbing you. If you need to, I say take remove one earpiece. Leave the second one. That's why you know because why I'm on a message, which is why message. See, you don't like I you. You don't get everything in the message. That's why I, when I come to a service like this, I'm not trying to listen to everything. I'm only looking for one thing. I'm looking for one thing. Once I just get it, I lay out on that. Then later, I will not listen to that message, that message from all over again. Then you not hear something new again. Listen to that message all over again. Then you not hear something new again. That message will now enter to your spirit. It's an spirit enter into me and set me on my feet. It will, it will not become flesh in you. So that's why, please, God's Spirit has made messages available online. Go online, download this. It's free of charge. Listen to it over and over and over and over until faith becomes formed in you. You become, you, you become, you know, 
Nobody can defeat you. You become unstoppable. You are moving. Everything is clearing. It's not look as if I don't know how to do it. No. There's something you are living by. There's something you are living by. There's something you are living by. He said, if you want to do what I have not done before, you must be who you have not been before. If you want to do what you have not done before, you must be what you have not been before. So doing is in being. Doing is in being. It's not hard to do. It's not hard to become a doer of God's word. You need to be first. Then it's easier to do. So don't try to do when you have not been. Come. You have not become. That's why sometimes the child is given. Sometimes the son is born. So there's a need for it to become. There's a need for it to grow from within to without. Because here in this kingdom, we operate by faith. It's a kingdom of faith. And that's why I've operated, operated I got that light. It has been a lifetime of encounter for me. It has been moved from one level of glory to another. From one level of greatness to another. There's no company I left. They are always feeling the impact. And tomorrow, Tara is like, ah, why did I allow this guy to go? To the point she went to their star, DLA leadership to preach, and she was using my story to sensitize other people. They don't, they don't let your most valuable employees to go. She said, it got to a point, she was always saying it. They'll be eating food. She'll be saying, Dosu. My daughter, the husband, I said, What is between you and this Dosu self? What is between you? It was that, he said, It was the husband I had to take that thing for her to stop it. They want to have a birthday for one of the directors, the commercial director. They invited me. They had one seaside restaurant. They, it was only two of us, my one other lady. They didn't even invite their own staff. Two of us for a director that I've, that I've left since 2017. They invited me to come as a surprise for the director, the commercial director. Me and when this woman was there, we were always fighting. <laughs> we were always fighting because she always deserved my life. Now, see this, she came from Microsoft and so she wants everything automated. <laughs> you know, for her. She didn't want to stress herself. You know? But now we are best of friends. Come on, lift up your hands and just give God praise. there. Have you been blessed today? You can download the messages for today as well as every other message from our website. Just visit Hello there. Have you been blessed today? You can download the messages for today as well as every other message from our website. Just visit www.godschambers.org. Church just got exciting. Three powerful services. The first starts at 7.30 a.m. in the morning. The second service starts at 9.10 a.m. in the morning. And the third service starts at 10.50 a.m. It sure promises to be a fantastic time. Connect services, our midweek service holds every Wednesday by 6 p.m. in the evening at Glory House. Are you stuck in traffic? Are you held up somewhere? Please log on online and join the services on our YouTube Live, Facebook Live, or on the online radio. We have very active WhatsApp and Telegram platforms for our daily family conversations. You don't want to miss it. For Tizo is Pastor Taiwo's Twitter conversation that holds every Mondays at 7 p.m. in the evening. It's very insightful. Families are made up of cell groups. Our cell group, our house fellowship, holds every second Sunday of every month at our various family centers. The information is available at the information stand for the center closest to you. Blossoming Quivers is the fellowship for our pregnant and our expectant mothers which holds every third Sunday at the conference center of every month. I love Thanksgiving service. Our Thanksgiving and baby dedication service holds on the last Sunday of every month during the third service. Are you grateful to God for anything? Did something spectacular happen? Or are you just grateful for life? Come for the third service every last Sunday of the month. Pastor Taiwo's books and other insightful, spiritually motivating books are available at the Information Center. Please do get a copy and you'll be glad you did. GC. GC is a place of fun. GC is the place to grow. GC 
is the home of transformation. Welcome to the home of transformation.